Hello friends, welcome to the platform of the Geographia. Today we will talk about some most useful map projections. Most projection is mostly used for making maps since uh, 5 or 6 centuries ago. The orange pill problem is perhaps the most widely cited analogy that geographers used to explain why a three-dimensional world cannot be represented into two-dimensional without any distortions. Try as you might, you just cannot flatten an orange peel without clearing, squeezing or stretching. When cartographer try to flatten the earth for a map projection, distortions in terms of shape, distance, directions or land area are inevitable to keep in. Depending on the purposes they are trying to serve, the number of possible map projections is limitless. However, which map projection should be used for general purposes? Here is some map projections which we will talk about. The first one is Marketer. The most popular map projection in the world has been around for 448 years now. It was created by Flemish cartographer Gerardus Marketer in 1569, a time when Antarctica hadn't even been discovered. Marketer was designed as a navigational tool for sailors, as it was most convenient to hand load courses with parallels, rules, and triangles on this map. In most maps, when you try to fix one kind of distortion, you increase another kind of distortion. However, Marketer is one of those rare maps whose answer to latitudinal distortions was to ensure that the longitudinal distortion is equally bad. On a Marketer projection, Greenland is roughly the same size as Africa. In reality, Africa is almost 14 times larger and Greenland can fix or fit inside China no less than four times. The map also suggests that the Scandinavian countries are larger than India, whereas India is actually three times the size. And yet, Google Maps, Bing, Yahoo, and even OpenStreetMaps continue using some version of the other of Marketer to display the world. The second uh, map projection is Gull Peters. The biggest criticism uh, for the skewed market projection came in 1973 from German filmmaker and journalist Emma Peters. Peters argued that uh, by analyzing Europe and North America, market maps were giving white nations a sense of uh, supremacy over non white nations. His solution an equal area projection that would be short the correct size of countries relative to each other. Note that the Gulf Peters projection came without any flaws. In its uh, quest of removing size distortions, the map stretched some places near the pole horizontally to a shocking degrees. It also stretched land masses vertically near the equator. So, if the map looks really odd to you, it's because the shape and angles are all wrong. Exactly the reason why we don't see this map online much. Nevertheless, it's quite widely used in British school system. Its a positive aspect is the only area correct map of the of its time got featured in the West Wing. Its negative aspect is gold, the cartographic community in 1980s. Third map projection is developed by Robinson. American geographer and cartographer Arthur H. Robinson came up uh, with this projection in 1963. Robinson intended the map, which is neither equal area nor comfortable. Hopefully, this map would be replaced marketer in classrooms. Its uh, positive aspect was uh, shows the entire world at once. Uh, we can also see here the spherical earth 
is represented by this projection and its negative aspect was compromises both area and angles especially at both the poles we can see here showing north pole as well as is in south pole next uh, most popular map projection is uh, Winkel triple. Uh, the map projection was proposed by German cartographer Oswald Winkel in 1921. The Winkel triple projection is quite uh, the opposite of Robinson. The map resorts to the mathematical to measure types of distortions, that is, area, direction, and the distance. Nowadays, the most popular projection is uh, orthograph. This is hands down the most accurate map projection in existence. In fact, orthograph world's map is so proportionally perfect. It magically folds it into the three-dimensional globe. Japanese architect Hajime Narakakua invented this map projection in 1999 by equally dividing a spherical surface into 96 triangles. These triangles were then projected onto a tetrahedron, which uh, not only helped maintain the proportions of land and water, also helped to unfold the map into perfect flat rectangle. Narukua, however, insists that the map is uh, refined a step further to increase the number of uh, subdivisions. Its accuracy will improve, and it can officially be called a equal map. Photograph uh, realistically represented all oceans and continents including the neglected Antarctica. While the general shape of the continent is maintained, you will notice there that uh, orientation is skewing upward as if it is smile. The most uh, positive aspect of this map projection is most accurate will win your Japan's biggest design award can be folded into a 3D club. This had also negative aspect the arctic circle gets somewhat excused and the uh, direction of north is also not uh, mentioned here these are some uh, most useful map projections uh, which uh, is being used to show three dimensional as a earth into to two dimensional on a paper and uh, in which uh, the oldest map projection is uh, market projection, whereas newest uh, is orthograph projection. But uh, it is a real fact that uh, no one map projection having the capacity to show the dimensional earth into two dimensional on a paper sheet in point of uh, reduced accuracy and uh, in, in terms of terms of uh, perfection photograph uh, map projection is perfectly being used by photographers it has also contains an error which uh, we uh, talked earlier anyway I have uh, no any option to show these distortions because uh, it's uh, impossible about to impossible to show three dimensional object into two dimensional but uh, we have no any options we have to use map projections which uh, to show the world on a two dimensional object such as map on a paper on a blackboard on a, on a paper of uh, books or maps etc thank you for giving your precious time for this video thank you so much friends and knowledge of projection thank you so much